Hi, and thank you for being here. This is a fairy video. I actually did two fairies in this. One fairy is going to my dear little fairy friend, Tibby. We are doing a collaboration exchange, so I hope you enjoy. Just start layering and coloring and I think I used every spray bottle of paint I had I used acrylics deco art acrylics I used uh, dilutions inks I just kept doing it and doing just to get colors on the page just to get it nice that nice thickness to it coated page so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with it next okay here I'm done layering and I made the envelope and what I did was I actually went back and watched one of my older videos I think I made like a year ago I put the I will put the link below and I show you how to make envelopes these kind of envelopes only in a on a smaller scale but you can use the same technique to make larger envelopes and this envelope is going to be going out to Tibby with the uh, pictures that I make her and this way she'll have something pretty to hold the pictures in if she wants to and then also now I can work on this more. I wanted to get it into the envelope stage, so this way now I can figure out what else I want to do to it. Uh, folded all the edges, kept them nice and clean. Now I'm going to use double-sided tape and tape everything up nice, but the envelope feels really nice because I use so many different kinds of paints on it. It's got a really nice coating on it. So I'll see what I do next to it, but I surely wanted to show you guys you know what I've done and you can make a little clasp on the top so you can make any size envelope you want with the the technique that I show you it doesn't really matter and I'm so happy because I wanted to do this big envelope size so bad and I was like oh goodness then I remembered oh I have that that video let me go watch it because I can't remember so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you make some nice cool envelopes to send out your happy mail in So there's a little fairy that I drew and I actually did her bigger and then I did these flowers and I had done one big one but then I went in and I just added them in in my word processor and I just copied them and made a whole bunch of them so that's something fun to do and now I'm going to color this in and um, hopefully this will go out and um, go to the fairy lady that's um that i'm doing a swap with so let's hope she likes that okay so let's get started i'm going to use the pastels again because i had so much fun with them so i'm going to use them again and see how this goes so i'm just darkening the lines a little bit and then i'm going to sketch in some uh ferns kind of hanging some leaves and do a little bit of something above her since there's all that space up there so I'm going to sketch in and fill in the top. Okay, so now I'm starting with the uh, pastel pencils and just trying to get this skin tone in. I'll just use a whole bunch of different colors and just keep layering and smooshing it together. And they're just so lovely and so wonderful. I mean, the colors are just luscious. So, totally enjoy using these pastel pencils. Keep using. 
blender, keep putting layers of different color pencils and then just spreading it and smooshing it in with the, with the blenders. They work very nicely and it's good to have a few different sizes. This is how I found out the first time I used it. You really need to have different size blenders and they work positively wonderful. Okay, now what I've done is I used some stencils and some gesso and I put on some leaves and kind of, you know, wanted something more texture on the page. So now I'm coloring them in with the H2Os, which are just beautiful. And I put little doodads on the bottom. I just used different stencils and just, um, you know, just, just to make texture on the bottom. Just kind of looking like a little field of, not a field, but a grouping of flowers lower than the larger flowers to give, to fill it in a little bit more. And then the leaves, uh, and they come out really nice with the H2O's, you know how they glisten with their goldness in them, makes you sparkle, they're so beautiful. I put a couple of little birds up in the tree and some clouds and you know just just to add some interest in there and give it more because I had a lot of space to fill in around her and above her so hopefully you know Tibby will like this because I'm very excited about it. So excited though I just can't wait to see what Tibby is doing so don't forget to go check out her channel I will put the link below she is spellbound on YouTube but I will put the link below for her channel so you can see what she made for me I cannot wait so I'm so excited and I know she's excited too so this is gonna be lots of fun
I really wanted to do the larger version, so here we go. And I'm using acrylic silks I used as accent coloring, you'll see, and then uh, which I never used before. I just got them, just ordered them, they're really cool. And watercolors and some marker. sorry about the shakiness in the beginning of some of these because it's just every time the camera moves every time I go to turn it on and it takes a while for it to stop moving and I try and it just the way my husband's got to uh, get it up there a little bit more snugly because it just moves around too much well here you can see her I'm not quite done with her yet I have to finish her eyes and maybe do a little bit more to the background I'm not sure yet but I will uh, post the picture and let you see a little bit more that I do I really have to do those eyes um, I didn't have the pen ran out that I was using so I'm waiting for a new one so when I finish it I will put it up and I think she came out really precious and I love her so I hope you enjoyed this. As always, thank you for being here. And if I inspired you, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, bye-bye.